What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. You already know, man. It's your boy Cherry Vio. Troy in there, hustle. I'm out of breath. I just ran through some Chipotle real quick. <laughs> Best food of your life. Best fast food out there. Anyway, shout out to Chipotle, man. I need to subscribe to the channel and support your boy. Anyway, um, like, subscribe, comment down below. It's Troy in there, hustle. Helping you build your financial muscle, man. But just some fun facts I have for you guys today, man. Just, you know rolling through reading some stuff and came across the some of the most interesting things that you come up with that you can find on the u.s census bureau um when it comes to numbers because you know people there's always this big argument about wealth right do you go through will do you go through real estate or do you go through um do you go through real estate or do you go through stocks and the stock market right always a big discussion but i believe I have the numbers that puts that to rest today, right? Now, stock market, let's start like this, right? The top 1% of the wealthiest people in America own 50% of the stock market, right? Those same people own about 20%, well, less than 20%, of the total real estate available in the US. So that means, hold on, let me stop right. So they own 50% of the stock market, right? They own 50% of the stock market and they own about 20% of the real estate available. Now let's break that down real quick. Now out of that, their total wealth, when I'm saying they own 20% of real estate, and they own 50% of the market, out of their wealth now separated from that, their wealth is split into two things for the most part. 90% of their wealth is in stocks and businesses, and only 10% of their total wealth is in real estate. Rich people who are really rich don't care about real estate like that, period. But okay, now let's go to the poorest people in America. The poorest people in America own about 10 to 20 percent of the total real estate available so they own about the same amount the same amount right of the real estate available they both own about the same amount of real estate available but the poorest people own less than about five percent of the total stock market so the biggest discrepancy is between who owns the most stocks right the rich people they own, obviously they've been building these portfolios and been growing, passing it down to their kids, and that's how they own all of the stock. So, I mean, and obviously we got the middle class. The middle class is who's buying most of the homes. The middle class is focused towards two, uh, two income households. They're married, you know what I mean? They're probably making between three to $700,000 a year, and they're buying the nice, the nice homes. Like the five hundred thousand dollar homes, the six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar homes, they're buying all of those nice homes, right, to raise their family in. And the middle class, believe it or not, their wealth is completely separated in 50-50. fifty fifty. Fifty percent stocks, fifty percent real estate. Meaning that big crib they bought is usually what a lot of their wealth is tied to, right? Your wealth, in my opinion, and I'm not there yet, so I could probably be think this is wrong later, but. Your wealth should not be tied to your real estate portfolio. Now, you should have real estate. That's part of your assets. But your wealth should not be tied to real estate. You want your wealth to be tied to businesses and investments. That's just what I believe in. That's a different conversation for a different day. Now, let's go back to the rich people, the top 1% of Americans who own 50% of the stock market. And then their wealth overall is 90% stocks and about 10 and about 10% real estate. Guys, and that's telling you that everything you need to know, man. Follow the numbers, follow the money. If most of the wealthy people all have their money in stocks instead of real estate, the reason I'm not trying to bash real estate because some people make a lot of money in real estate. Well, a lot of people, if you have a business where you're flipping houses, you're remodeling houses, or you are buying apartment complexes, you're renting out. And you know what I mean? You 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 create cash flow through this real estate, right? You 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 make money through the real estate. That's great. <laughs> like make your money, but don't don't just buy one big house and go sit in it 
and think that's how you're gonna get rich when you sell the house. That's just not what's gonna happen. I mean, you are gonna make good money, but if you truly wanna build wealth, that money coming in, you wanna pass down to your kids. I mean, let's think about it. A house at any given time could crash down and burn like, you feel me? Uh, natural disaster could come through. Your neighborhood could burn up, right? Like if the stock market burnt up on Wall Street, as much as I hate to say that, the businesses, Apple will still thrive, Microsoft was through all these businesses you bought in the stock market, you will still thrive and will still be doing great. Your money will still be invested with the company. It's a no-brainer for me, man. And I'm not trying to bad. Real estate, there, there, there a lot of people also, like I said, who I've made a lot of bulk of their money. Like the guy who owned the Rams, he's made bulk of his money in real estate. Right? But if we were to go look at his portfolio now, all that's saying is that all the money he made in real estate, he went and took that and put it in the market. Because he knows that's where truly you get passive income, where you just have your money work for you, man. You don't really got to manage it. You should manage it. But you don't really need to be dig, dig down inside, managing it, talking to contractors about when they're going to get, like, you don't need to be doing all of that, man. You just set it up. You feel me? You find the right solid company, you buy low, and you hold it, man. Stock market is a beautiful thing. Stock market is a beautiful thing. And I like how these numbers is proving it, man. These numbers is proved they're telling you everything we need to know, man. Now, to the poorest people at the bottom who own only 5% of the stock market, right? I don't own a crazy amount of stocks. Obviously, I'm part of that 5 I'm part of the people that own just 5% of the stock market. I'm not about to act here like I'm super rich. So the bottom the, the bottom 5%, what well, the bottom half of the richest people in the country own the 5% of what's in the market, right? So we want to continue to grow our position in the market. This is why I started this YouTube channel, right? To give people, well, I don't want to say give advice. I'm not a financial guru. I'm not no financial advisor. I just give my opinions and whatever I talk about on this channel is my opinions. Please do your own research before making any type of investment. Please, please, please do your own research because you never know. You might end up teaching me something and we make some money together, right? But anyway, we got to do, uh, we got to set goals to actually create to actually get more stocks in the stock market. As a people, as a whole, we have to. We have, to, if older than 1% is controlling, guys, 1% of people is controlling 50% of the stocks in the stock market. And the rest of us are just out here, just buying Gucci, buying, pro I'm not saying nothing wrong with buying that stuff, but make sure you get the stocks, man. You buying all the things that don't matter. Right? It's wants over needs. Where we need to turn we need to change back to needs over wants. Like I need investments because investments make my money work for me so I don't have to work that hard and that way I have more free time to focus on the things that I'm really passionate about, right? F spend more time with your kids, spend more time with your family. Those are the things that are important. All of this investment is to buy back time so you can spend more time with your loved ones. Because nobody knows after the clock hit and you out of here. Nobody knows what's going to happen, man. When they turn your lights off, listen, nobody knows what happens. Everybody could talk about whoop de whoop de -woo. Like, listen, it's not about, we're not about to change this into a religious conversation. But for the time that you're here on this earth, you want to spend as much time with people who love you, people who care about you. And then the people who you don't know, who you don't, the people who you don't know, you don't care about, you want to help those people as much as you can. That's my goal in life, to spend a lot of time with my family and the people who I see are struggling to try to help them as much as I can. And this is a platform that I can reach out to a lot of them. Guys, again, the top 1% of the people who are the wealthiest in this country on 50% of all the stocks available in the stock market, their wealth are split into two categories, 90% in stocks and investments and about 10% in real estate. So what, like, what do we really do with focus, man? See what the play is. Stop getting distracted. Stock market is the play. It will be the play. Stock market, man. Come on, it's the stock market. I love the stock market, and that will become. A, 
and I will become wealthy in the stock market. I will become super wealthy using the stock market. I know how to invest. I know how to do my research. I invest in the right companies. I believe in that, and I can show you how to do that, man. Just stick with me. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this channel with your people, man. And for y'all that are at that bottom, man, start creating these accounts and start buying small stocks. Small, You can buy stocks for as small as $5, $10, $20, man. Like, you know you spent that money on crap. You got no business spending that money on. You can spend that money on something that's valuable that over time will return you more money. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this channel with your people, man. Catch me on the next one. My voice is harsh. I'm out. One.